Um, I'm responding to a question that was placed on our site, on our channel, about could a power wheelchair uh, start a fire, spark and start a fire? So it's an interesting question. I am not an electrician, so I can't respond with all the technicalities of it, but um, anything can get set on fire, a lamp, anything. So uh, this is what I'm going to say. Uh, I think one of, I didn't, I did not find any statistics about power wheelchairs or scooters getting set on fire or starting a fire. I did not. Um, I found uh, some articles here and there of incidences, but um, I would think and this is just my opinion, I would think that one of the things that really would set something on fire is having the wrong wiring, <laughs> either on the battery or the charger. You know, the charger has to match the, the wattage of that battery. So you can't, a lot of times when people are moving, they lose their charger or they're traveling and they're at somewhere else and they put another charger on there. Um, the battery was changed and you didn't know and it was the wrong wattage for that particular power wheelchair or power scooter. Uh, so a lot, an infinite number of things can set something on fire, especially a power wheelchair or a scooter. <coughs> You know, and I have my wheelchair checked once, once a year, once every other year because um, my battery is three years old and usually the insurance will allow you, you know, two years and then you can change it out. They'll cover it. Um, mine is three years old. So I have a tech who's going to come on in September, is going to come and, and check my wheelchair over and he's going to change the battery. So yes, a wheelchair, a power wheelchair or a scooter needs to be in good condition, should not be wet, um, should not have been, uh, the battery should not have been changed uh, for another battery that uh, did not correspond to that particular unit. Uh, you know, your charger needs to absolutely meet the criteria for this particular wheelchair or scooter. So there's a lot of things that, you know, could go wrong if you're not caring for that power wheelchair or that scooter. Um, and especially if you get it secondhand, you don't know the history of the, the power wheelchair or the scooter. So you gotta be very careful. If you get it secondhand, then, you know, did they change the battery at some point? Did they connect other things to that battery that you know weren't quite connected correctly? So all kinds of things could happen. It's an infinite number, and uh, that's why I asked this person: Is there something specific that you're concerned about? Because that I might be able to answer, uh, but not just a random question: Can a can a power wheelchair get set on fire? Um, I've had mine for three years. I charge it here in my in my room uh, with the appropriate charger, of course, and I have this wheelchair checked uh, every year, every other year. So, you know, and I keep it dry. Um, I haven't fooled around with the battery at all. Um, I haven't touched my wheelchair at all, just the external, just to clean it a little bit, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> so power wheelchairs and scooters, just like any other electronic, needs to be cared for. So in this one, you need to keep it clean. Uh, you need to uh, keep it dry. Um, and, and those are the things we can do. And be careful with the chargers, because sometimes chargers get lost, or you get a secondhand scooter or power wheelchair with a different charger, and um, that's something that needs to, uh, you need to be alerted to because the charger, I, for me, it's like the main problem. That people get a little um, lazy with the chargers and they get a generic one and they just plug that puppy in and it has a meltdown. You know, those chargers can get heat up 
and you really need to have the original that goes with that unit. So if you ever lose a charger or you get something that's second hand and the charger is a generic one <coughs> that they gave you, uh, make sure you contact a company uh, of that scooter or power wheelchair. Make sure you get the original that belongs to that particular unit so that it doesn't cause any issues. You want to make sure that it has the correct battery in it for the scooter or the power wheelchair uh, so that, you know, there's no meltdowns. Uh, so, you know, it's just the common sense kind of things. So that is my best answer to can a power wheelchair get set on fire or, or you know, um, if something's wrong with it, yeah, of course. <laughs> Or sometimes power wheelchairs and scooters are used heavily because the person really needs it. And they use it even outside for transportation, going to get their groceries, and they load it, you know, with their groceries. So, um, so that battery really needs to work hard. Uh, and they don't give it a whole lot of rest either. So it's, it's just the common sense things that could uh, set something off in that unit, so y you wanna take care of it. You wanna make sure it's dry. You wanna make sure you give it breaks, and it's important for you too to take a break and sit in a recliner or lie down. Um, give time for the power wheelchair to simmer down too. Uh, the charger, make sure you have the original. Make sure where you're plugging it in is a good plug you know, that it doesn't have wires hanging out and it's an old plug and all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure the plugs that are you're using are healthy and good and safe. Uh, so it's that and so many other things. So you just want to be safe in how you're handling the, the power wheelchair. You don't want to put extensions all over your house to be able to plug it in. <laughs> It's got to be plugged in directly into the wall. So be careful for those people who are using a whole bunch of extensions and then plugging in your power wheelchair into an extension. It should not. It needs to be plugged in directly to the wall because it needs all the energy to, to be able to, to recharge that battery. So again, it's, it's those little things that could cause a problem um, and a big thing. And I think the most dangerous one is the charger. If you've lost it or you're using a generic one or you get the power wheelchair or the scooter from somebody else and they give you a generic charger because they lost it, um, really important to get the original charger uh, because of the wattage and, and because of the encasing that it comes with. It's really important to prevent any, any oopsies. So if you have any comments, if you are an electrician and you want to point out a few things, that awesome. I think it's an important question. Can your power wheelchair just spark a fire? Uh, can your charger, you know, have a meltdown? Um, and uh, that all depends. <laughs> Do you have the right charger? And are you plugging it directly into the wall? Uh, so it's some of that and all that is just common sense, folks. Uh, you you got to make sure your wheelchair is in good condition. You got to make sure you're using the correct charger. You got to make sure you're plugging it directly into the wall. So all those kind of common sense things um, are are really important. So um, you know I will make another video uh, because this question just came up. I will um, put down a list of things that are really important to prevent a fire. Uh, because they are preventable. They are preventable because the power wheelchairs and the scooters are tested over and over and over in the factories to make sure that there are no fires and there are no issues with, with, the, with the mechanism. So, uh, so, so you know that the factory doesn't want to be liable and so they're going to test it over and over. So. So those are my answers. They're humble. Uh, <laughs> I know nothing about electricity other than common sense things. So I will leave it at that if people want to jump in with their answers. 
uh, any issues they've had or any advice that you would have in regards to uh, a chair, you know, getting set on fire or a scooter. Um, I will, uh, there's a booklet I found, and I'll, I'll put it in, in, the, in the description. I'll put the link so you kind of look at it and say, oh, yeah, it's got to have the, the, the correct battery. It's got to have the correct connections. It's got to have the correct uh, charger. So, you know, it's all those kind of common sense things that we need to pay attention to. So that is it. Thank you so much for coming by. If you want to help the channel, that would be great. Uh, just do a like. That would, be, that would be awesome. A like helps. Sharing, commenting, and if you feel like you're going to come back around and be part of our community, uh, subscribe. Everything is free, so uh, no issues there. All right, so take care. Don't forget about the Olympics. They start tomorrow, the Paralympics. And um, I will leave any important links in, in the descriptions so that you can look at other articles that might assist you in answering your questions. All right, take care. And I will see you in the next video.